Welcome to Mission Control. We need you on our team. I'm David Gansel, and welcome to Armchair Imagineering. Epcot's World Showcase is finally getting rides for the France and UK Pavilion. Or at least for the France Pavilion. We're still not 100% certain that the UK attraction is going to be a ride. We just know that it's going to be a Mary Poppins attraction. And with the amount they're hyping it, it had better be a ride. I'm not going to armchair Imagineer a Mary Poppins ride because Tony Baxter already did that in college and who am I to compete with my favorite Scary Farm customer? The addition of these attractions is a step in the right direction, but it's still not enough. Every World Showcase Pavilion needs more than just a movie, no matter how gimmicky the projection format. The way I see it, Epcot can either spend several years gradually adding e-tickets to the remaining World Showcase pavilions, or they can drop a bunch of relatively cheap B and C tickets in a single year. So I'm going to go through every World Showcase pavilion that doesn't already have a ride, or an upcoming ride, or an animatronic show, and I am going to pitch the cheap ride and the expensive ride they can add. China! The cheap version! Epcot needs more thrill rides, but it also needs more kiddie rides, so my pitch is a kiddie roller coaster themed after a dragon. Universal closed their dragon roller coaster, so it's on the table again. The dragon can even be Mushu if everything in Epcot needs to be character based. The expensive version. My expensive pitch is also a coaster. I know it's very unlike me, but this would be a much bigger coaster, the Great Wall Coaster. That's right, we're talking a huge roller coaster track weaving through a replica of portions of the famous landmark with a queue full of facts about the wall's history. Thrilling and educational. Germany, the cheap version. The Oktoberfest Ferris wheel. A Ferris wheel, smaller than the real Oktoberfest Ferris wheel, but you know, based on the Oktoberfest Ferris wheel. Come on, if the other Disney World parks can have areas themed after much cheaper carnival settings, we might as well theme an area after a culturally significant cheap carnival setting. The expensive version. I'll be honest, I can't really think of anything better than the abandoned ride and river cruise idea, but the second best idea I have is the Great Grim Fairy Tales ride. This would be a great movie ride-esque journey through scenes from all the Disney fairy tales that were specifically based on Brothers Grimm stories. Each individual scene could be at the level of an opening year Fantasyland dark ride, but there would just be so many of them that it would be a much longer experience. I know you haven't destroyed all the props from Florida's version of Scary Adventures yet. You could easily reuse some of them here. I don't care how many of the Disney version of Grimm stories aren't actually set in Germany. Frozen's not actually set in Norway, but here we are. Italy, the cheap version. Clone Pinocchio's Daring Journey. I'm not the only person to pitch this and Admittedly, it would be a little more expensive than the other cheap rides I'm pitching, but it would still be cheap enough that it would be a disappointment if that was the only thing opening that year. But honestly, this cute little Fantasyland classic would be a great fit for an Epcot pavilion. The expensive version. The Venice Canal Adventure, because it's really weird that with all the boat rides in Epcot, this isn't already one of them. This would be a peaceful e-ticket, unless they do an Indiana Jones overlay, but Florida doesn't get Indiana Jones rides, so that wouldn't happen. Guests would sail past the city streets filled with animatronic tableaus of Italian culture. Kind of like the second floor of the Venetian in Vegas, but if that was an actual ride and not just a mall. And hey, one of those tableaus can be the Lady in the Tramp Spaghetti scene, if you're going to insist that they're in Italy anyway, Epcot. Japan, the cheap version. Clone Tokyo's upcoming Happy Ride with Baymax. I know that Big Hero 6 is not actually set in Japan, but it's set in a fictional world that is heavily shaped by Japan, and it's a ride that was originally built for Japan, and again, not a bigger stretch than Frozen in Norway. The expensive version. Look, all of the existing rumors for Japan rides would be great. Bullet Train Simulator? Awesome. Mount Fuji Roller Coaster? Awesome. Godzilla Ride? Awesome. But my pitch is to take a more modern take on Japanese sci-fi and combine it with a more modern ride system. That's right a mech simulator in the style of Smuggler's Run. The kids still like the Pacific Rim movies, right? I mean, obviously they couldn't theme it to Pacific Rim because, you know, but there's any number of anime they could license or they could just craft an original giant robot story if they dare. Like I said, this would be in the style of Smuggler's Run, so your whole team would have to work together to pilot the mech and fight off some kaiju. Just try not to destroy too much of the city while you're on your mission. Morocco, the cheap version. Move the magic carpets of Aladdin here. 
does anyone need this to be in Magic Kingdom? Magic Kingdom has more than enough aerial spinners already, and the placement in Adventureland is really annoying for traffic flow, but in a little alcove off of Morocco, it would be perfect. The expensive version. A big wooden roller coaster, since Florida's other Morocco closed their big wooden roller coaster. I know they're kind of rebuilding it, but if Disney moves fast, they can beat them to it. Other than that, uh, Disney, do you still own the Casablanca theme park rights? Am I the only one who wants a full Rise of the Resistance style Casablanca ride where you're zipping through the city streets trying to get the letters of transit and avoiding Major Strasser, then you zip through the dueling national anthem scene in Rick's Cafe, and at the end you get onto the airplane instead of the escape pod? Come on, the kids would love it. I know their favorite movie villain actor is Conrad Veidt. Canada. The cheap version. The Goose's Flight, in the style of Islands of Adventures Pteranodon Flyers, but with Canada geese instead of dinosaurs flying over a patch of beautiful maple forest. The expensive version. Okay, admittedly, this is also very similar to Islands of Adventure, but it's got to be a Canada-based water ride, right? Yeah, 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 Dudley Do-Ride already exists, but that's not a going over Niagara Falls in a barrel-themed water ride. So this would be more of a rapids ride than a flume ride, with the rafts shaped like big barrels, but with as steep a final drop as one can safely do in a rapids ride. We're overdue for Epcot once again sending you back over the falls. And those are my pitches for World Showcase rides. Which one sounds most fun to you? And what ride would you like to add to Epcot? Let's discuss this all in the comments, and until next time, this is Dave, signing off.